Problem four is very similar to problem two. Um, so on average, each teacher eats 25.5 M&Ms at a meeting. And the standard deviation of that is 5.2. So if 102 teachers are going to the meeting and uh, Mr. Youssef only brought 2,700 M&Ms, what's the probability he runs out of M&Ms? So let's look at that. He brought 2,700 M&Ms and there's 102 teachers. So if the average number of M&Ms that each teacher eats exceeds 26.47, he's going to run out of M&Ms. If the average number of M&Ms each teacher eats is 27, he's going to run out. If it's 26, he'll be fine. So that's what we're trying to compare to. We're, we're going to say, here's the true mean. What's the probability this 102 teachers exceeds this value here? So first thing we're going to do, let's find the sample standard deviation. So S equals 5.2 divided by the square root of 102. Our sample standard deviation is about 0.515. Um, using our z-score or our z-formula, we can calculate a z-score. The value of interest minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. we get a z-score of 1.88. Um, basically, we were interested in what's the probability that the mean exceeds that. We've converted that into z-scores, and so we can find the probability of our table is what's the probability a z-score of a normal distribution will exceed that. So 1.88 would be about here. And we're trying to find this probability. Here's the cool thing about z-scores. They have tables. We don't have a table that has the M&M's scores for, or the M&M values for this particular problem. But using this formula, you can compare anything. You can convert how unusual would it be for the M&M's, the average M&M consumption, to exceed this value. You just convert it to a z-score. So let's see. The probability of getting a z-score greater than 1.88, and I'm going to use my negative trick here, 1.88 looks like 0 .0301 is the score we got, and that's the probability.